Okay, I've been running from theater to theater in the past week, and I'll just tell you quickly that the best ticket of the past week was the New York City Ballet at the Ferguson Center, where in one amazing evening you, you could see five ballets, including one choreographed by the great George Balanchine and one by Peter Martins with an awesome new company that is finally doing some new works after decades of doing George Balanchine. Balanchine is and was and will always be great, but we needed some new ballets, and we got it. Then the worst ticket of the week was the pretty sad fizzle dance billed as flash dance at Chrysler Hall in the Broadway touring season. The production values were strictly El Cheapo, including a thin synthesizer that tried to masquerade as an orchestra and a flimsy set when even the famous wet drops number was done on the cheap. None of the mess was the fault of the pert leading lady, Julia Macchio, daughter of the movie's karate kid, Ralph Macchio. She is a talent, and she worked hard, but it's gotten to the point that local audiences cannot be fooled anymore by cheap bus and truck tours after we've had the national companies of things like Phantom of the Opera and The Lion King. We can't go back to the time when we were one-night stopovers for touring shows. We have proven that we are a viable theater town that can set records at the box office, but only for quality shows. Now, as for what's up this week, are you ready? What's up, Doc? It's Bugs Bunny. Yes, it's the long-haired hair taking on the Virginia Symphony Orchestra. And uh, what a night. After all, Bugs was decidedly a New York-accented rabbit, so I'm not going to even attempt to c- copy that line. It's not in my repertoire. But it's Saturday night at Chrysler Hall, and it's more than just a group of classic Warner Brothers cartoons. It's a return engagement, and the everybody will be there, including Tweety Bird doing I Taught, I Taught a Putty Tat, and one of my favorites, Pepe Le Pew, crooning a romantic ballad even though he is scent challenged. Elma Fudd will be there, and Daffy Duck, and Wiley Coyote. And the classics will include Rhapsody Wabbit and the Roadrunner epic Zoom and Board. In a cross-studio oddity, there will be a guest appearance by Tom and Jerry, who we all know was an MGM star not in with Bugs Warner Brothers crowd. It's all conducted by George Daughtery, who travels with the Bugs and seldom lets anyone else conduct these evenings. So the Virginia Symphony is ready, and I'm just wondering if Jessica Rabbit will be represented. She at least would add decoration, don't you think? Bugs is holding his own. He claims to have appeared in more films than any other cartoon character, much more even than Mickey Mouse. So... (laughs) 